Coming to you from Maltby Studio at Slippery Rock University, I'm Morgan Koziar. And I'm Henry Ivinson. We'll have your news along with the weather forecast coming up on WSRU TV News. A Hadley man was flown to an Erie hospital with major injuries after he rolled his car in Deer Creek Township, Mercer County. The Mercer State Police say that just before 7 a.m. on Saturday, 19-year-old Brian DePreta was northbound on Interstate 79 when he lost control of his car. Authorities say that DePreta's car then rolled over multiple times. DePreta was then ejected through the driver's side front window. Officials say that DePreta was flown from the scene to Hammett Medical Center in Erie. He faces warning for roadways, lane, lane for traffic, and restraint systems. The Bunker State Police are investigating a recent theft involving a trailer. Authorities say that sometime between 1 p.m. back on August 29th and 6 p.m. August 30th, at least one unknown suspect stole a 1994 Layton Travel Trailer from RMS Incorporated, which is located on East Bunker Road in Summit Township. <laughs> Officials say that the trailer is 23 and a half feet long and is white with pink and green stripes. The trailer is valued at $2,500. If you have any information about this case, you're asked to call the Bunker State Police at 724-284-8100. In an effort to raise awareness for the homeless people in our community, Greek life organizations Kappa Sigma and Gamma Sigma Sigma have teamed up to organize a series of events leading up to SRU's annual Cardboard Vi Village on October 1st. The first event will be the showing of the film The Pursuit of Happiness on Tuesday, September 21st at 8 p.m. in the ATS Auditorium. Admission will be $2 or one can of food. The second event will be on September 24th, where six teams will compete in the PB&J capper to see who can make the most sandwiches. The winning team will receive a prize. Sign-up tables will be available on the first floor of the Smith Student Center between 12.30 p.m. and 1.30 p.m. during common hour on September 15th, 17th, 22nd, and 24th, where you can register a team of two to six participants. All proceeds will go to the Lighthouse Foundation in Butler, PA. If you have been walking around Slippery Rock University, you may have noticed all the new rocks and cool designs. As it turns out, the Slippery Rock grounds crew has been doing more than just mowing the lawns during classes. The grounds crew entered the 2015 Professional Grounds Management Society Green Star Awards competition, and they were selected as an honor award recipient. This was their first year participating in the competition. There have been, been many drastic improvements on our grounds at the Rock. There will be more to come in the future. For all students who are communication majors looking for an internship, this Thursday, September 10th, there will be an orientation in Eisenberg Room 306 at 12.30 p.m. If you're a student majoring in digital media, public relations, integrated marketing communications, or journalism, this session marks one of the two available ses sessions in which you are required to attend. If you're a communication bachelor of arts or communication minor, you can take an internship as part of your degree, but it's optional. The second session will be held on Wednesday, November 11th, 2015 at 1 p.m. in Eisenberg Room 306. As expressed by the Communication Department, please plan accordingly, as these are the only two sessions available for the semester. For more information, you can email Dr. Quinn at katrina.quinn at sru.edu. We'll have more for you when we return after this commercial break.
Coming next week on Wednesday, September 16th, American zookeeper Jack Hanna will be visiting SRU's campus along with his, some, some of his wild critters. Tickets to see Jack Hanna are available for purchase at the Smith's Dune Center. Tickets are $3 for SRU students and $6 for the general public. Doors open at 6 p.m. and the wildlife show starts at the Morrow Field House at 7 p.m. We hope to see you there. The Old Stone House and Butler Little Theater will be presenting their newest play, Shootout at Slippery Rock Creek. The true story revolves around the Stone House gang and the rumors that sur surround them. The gang is full of count counterfeiters and the horse thieves who occupied the Slippery Rock Stagecoach Tavern during the 1800s. The show will be going on September 11th through the 13th, and again from the 18th through the 20th. The show will start at 7.30 at the Old Stone House. Tickets can be purchased at the door for $10 or online. Rumor has it it's going to be a great show. It is safe to say that most college students here on campus could not survive without Netflix. Netflix is constantly adding new shows and movies to their collection. The amount of things to watch can quickly become overwhelming. Here are some of the notable television shows that will be added this month. Season 2 of The Blacklist on September 15th, Season 5 of Hawaii Five-0 on September 25th, Season 5 of The Walking Dead on September 27th, and Season 10 of Bones on September 29th. For the complete list, visit whatsonnetflix.com, where you can also find a list of the titles which will expire this month. Looking to get involved and meet new people on campus? Join SRU Beatbox Society today. The organization encourages newcomers and those without previous experience while adopting a come-as-you-are attitude. Promoting more than the art of vocal percussion, the, the club also incorporates other musical genres while inviting other forms of musical and artistic expression. The student organization meets every Wednesday at 8 p.m. in Vincent Room 103. For more information, you can find Beatbox Society on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Or you can contact the organization's president and founder, Michael Johnson, at mnj1003 at sru.edu. Now over to Doug Gilchrist for your weekly sports update. Thanks, Henry. The Slippery Rock University football team opened up the 2015 campaign with a resounding win on the road at New Haven on Saturday. The 25th ranked Rock broke up in a tight contest at halftime, outscoring New Haven 25-3 in the second half and rode to a 39-17 victory. Running back Shamar Green led the Rock attack on the ground with 116 yards, while new quarterback Dante Nanya threw for 269 yards and three touchdowns. SRU returns home on Saturday for a nationally televised contest versus East Stroudsburg at 7 p.m. The Pittsburgh Pirates fell on the road to the St. Louis Cardinals last night by a final of 4-1. Saturday night's loss comes after a big 9-3 win for the Buccos on Friday night. Offensively for the Bucs, Sean Rodriguez was solid at the plate, going 3-for-3. Three three. Charlie Morton started on the mound last night for the Pirates. With the loss, the Pirates are now 6.5 games behind the first-place Cardinals. The teams will square off again Sunday night at 8.10 p.m. You can catch all the action starting with pregame coverage on WISR 680 AM. The saga of Tom Brady and Deflategate has finally been resolved. Maybe. U.S. District Judge Richard Berman has found several significant legal deficiencies in how Commissioner Roger Goodell conducted his investigation into Deflategate. The four-game suspension that Brady was originally given by Goodell has been vacated by this ruling, meaning that he will be on the field leading the Patriots against the Steelers on the opening Thursday night of the NFL season. This isn't the end of Deflategate, however. The NFL has already filed an appeal in the U.S. District Court in New York. That's it for your weekly sports report. Now over to Shannon Golden for your weekly weather. Hello, Slippery Rock. I'm your chief meteorologist, Shannon Golden, to give you the seven-day look at the upcoming weather. So Tuesday, as you can see, it's a high of 90 degrees and a low of 73, very sunny day. Wednesday and Thursday, the storms are coming in with Wednesday at a high of 88 degrees and Thursday, 73 degrees with a low of 57. Though coming up on Friday, it's going to be nice and sunny with a high of 81 degrees and a low of 57 degrees. This weekend, storms will be coming back with a high of 72 and 70 with some rain as well. And then Monday, it will be showers with a high of 73 and a low of 52. That's all I got for you guys right now. Back to the desk. Well, that's all we have for you this week. I'm Morgan Coziar. And I'm Henry Ivinson. Stay slippery, rock. <laughs>